Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to fix the problem of iPhone storage not loading or not updating problem and the troubleshooting steps that I'm going to suggest to you in this episode also applicable for iPad users. If you have the same problem of iPad storage not showing the proper, the you know, the data consumed, the applications and user data consumed in your iPhone or iPad storage section, you can try the same troubleshooting step. This is an important area where if you are almost nearing the usage of your iPhone disk space, then this section will let you to optimize and you know automatically flush out any unwanted data or clear up cache data and temporary files and everything to save some extra space. You can easily figure out all the apps and user data consumed in one place to you know optimize yourself and free up some storage space. So when this particular section is not loading properly, when you see calculating category sizes and it's simply the loading progress icon is is all you see even after waiting for more than three four minutes or five minutes then all you have to do is trying these troubleshooting steps one by one it is important to start from first step so the very first step I'm going to suggest to you right now is performing a simple restart for some users after a software update they were not able to see the iPhone storage properly loaded on their iPhone or iPad so in such cases a simple restart by pressing the volume button once and then pressing and holding the power button will show you the slide to power off screen where you can simply uh, perform a simple shutdown of your iPhone and then you have to press and hold your power button to restart your iPhone. After doing that restart you can navigate to settings, general, iPhone storage and give two to three minutes time you know depending on the files that you have stored photos and amount of videos that you have stored it may take a little bit extra time for indexing and then it will show you the complete details of the applications and all other storage related section if that didn't help the second step is doing a force restart pressing the volume up button once and then immediately press the volume down button once and then press and hold the power button. When you see slide to power off screen, you shouldn't take your hand away from the power button. You have to keep pressing the power button till you see the Apple logo. It automatically restarts and it will show you the Apple logo. At that point, you can release your finger from the power button. So remember, you have to press the volume up button once and then volume down button once and immediately press and hold the power button to perform the force restart. This particular step have helped so many people uh, from my previous video comment I have understood that. So after the restart you have to follow the same step and for iPhones that is you know that don't have the face ID and if you have the home button uh, the touch ID thing then you have to try a little bit different step. The steps are more or less same. I leave a link to that Apple support document in the description. You can visit that particular page uh, and you can locate your specific iPhone model to perform the force restart for your iPhone model. So after this navigate to the iPhone storage section and it will be loaded. If the both two steps didn't help I'm sure the second step helped so many people but the, if that is not the case in your uh, scenario then you have to perform all settings reset. Navigate to settings general transfer and reset data and from the bottom you have to select the reset option. From the menu you have to select reset all settings. You don't have to select any other option or don't give erase all settings and data because that will simply wipe away all the data from your iPhone. So that is not a recommended step. You simply have to perform all settings reset. After that, you have to restart your iPhone and then navigate to settings general and then iPhone storage and after giving you know a couple of minutes depending on the user data that I have stored in your iPhone you will see the iPhone storage graph that each applications photos messages and system data consumed and also the recommendations which is an important section where it will show you the possibilities that you can optimize your storage and free up some more space you know to use and make your iPhone function or iPhone function normally so this is an important section the recommendations you can tap on show all and then you will be able to see all the recommendations that is given by the iOS system to optimize your storage and also each application specific area where you can manage your data or you can perform an app offloading if you want to just delete the application and keep the data intact and you want to you know use it in future by reinstall the application so all these things you know simply accessible after performing these troubleshooting steps and one additional uh, tip that I like to mention is if your iPhone other data or system storage data is you know kind of consuming as you can see from the graph more space then my suggestion is performing any pending software update via iTunes 
or taking a backup of your iPhone and then performing an iOS restore which helped in so many people for flushing their you know temporary and other storage and system related data. For more iPhone, iPad and Mac related tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.